Yeah, it's not easy. You know, I got sober a long time ago out in Los Angeles, I don't know, 35, 36 years ago. And I was crazy, I was insane, I was sick and to death, drunk and insane, and um, I was sentenced to AA meetings, and I hated that, I hated the damn things, I hated all this God stuff, it made me want to puke. You know, move on, let go, let God, and surrender and win and all this, I was a winner. I've been a winner all my life. And, uh, but I was fighting all the time, and anyway, cut a long story short, I met, uh, there was this old man, he was a priest, a Jesuit priest, his name was Joe Riley, Father Joe Riley, and I'll never forget him as long as I live. And one night I, I was about to leave the meeting, I, was, I had to get the hell out, and he stood in my way, he said, where the hell do you think you're going? I said, you get out of my way, he said, you're not going anywhere. But he looked up into my face, and he had these piercing blue eyes and a cigarette in his mouth, and he said, you know, he, he said, you look like to me, you, you look like you've busted, disgusted, and not to be trusted. <laughs> and he was right. <laughs> I wasn't to be trusted by anyone. I'd never trust myself even. And one day I asked him, I said, okay, Father, you know all the answers. I called him Father, and he got a kick out of that. I said, you know all the answers. You're pretty smart guy. What's the shortest, most powerful prayer in the world? Because I was fast. I needed quick answers. So I wanted to be back on the fast track. I said, what is the fastest, most powerful prayer in the world? The fastest, most powerful prayer in the world, he looked at me and said, fastest, most powerful prayer in the world, my friend, is fuck it. <laughs> <laughs> Father Joe Riley. Jesuit priest, fuck it. Can you believe it? <laughs> he said, it's the prayer of release and surrender, and I felt the whole weight of the world going off my shoulders. And just before Father Riley died, I asked him, I said, how do I get it? How do I know? He said, you will see when you're ready to see, you will hear when you're ready to hear. He said, you're a particularly tough nut. <laughs>